my dear brothers and sisters and my dear children in Jesus Christ i invite each one of you to reflect with me on the theme faith you know this topic is particularly for children because as father said the parents and the elders are aware of faith and you know how big how great is your faith but this topic let us let us deal with children i mean when we people ask each one of us do you have faith as children as you are there are times maybe your teachers your elders others your friends in the school and so on they ask you do you have faith do you have faith in god do you have faith in the church do you have faith in the sacraments do you have faith in the commandments and do you have faith faith uh, in the teachings of the church and so on and then we say automatically yes i have faith i have faith in god i have faith in the church i have faith in the teachings of the church i have faith in the commandments in the sacraments and so on but as children as you are and as you grow up also there are times we pose lot of questions with regard to faith we pose lot of questions before god why are these things happening in my life why are these things taking place in my life or there are times we question about the sacraments there are times we question about the teachings of the church there are times you question about the commandments and so many so many questions will arise in your life in your heart why it is happening because we say we have faith but we do not know what is faith when people ask us do you have faith yes we say i have faith but we do not know what is faith in the letter to the hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 St Paul gives us a definition of faith and when we learn this definition when we when we know what is faith when we understand what is faith then our looking at things also begins to change now in the letter to the hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 also says faith is the assurance of things hoped for the convictions of things conviction conviction of things not seen this is faith faith is assurance of things hoped for what is assurance of things hoped for means when we look into the bible from the book of genesis till revelation when we go through we find a lot of assurances of god lot of promises of god god has given us beautiful promises god has given us beautiful assurances and i hope that all those promises all those all those assurances of the lord will be fulfilled in my life for example in the book of exodus chapter 15 verse Uh, 26 the lord says i am the lord who heals you when we read this particular verse i am the lord who heals you if i am a person who has got a great faith i believe and i hope that this word of god will be fulfilled in my life when you are sick when you are in different situations when you are sad when you feel that nobody is there to love you when you feel that you are alone you are having you are experiencing a lot of pain and suddenly this word of god is coming into your heart i am the lord who heals you and we believe and then you believe as this promise of the lord this assurance of the lord will be fulfilled in my life and another beautiful uh, words we find in the gospel of matthew chapter 28 verse 20 jesus tells i am with you always to the end of the ages i am with you always there were people when you ask children as you are there are times you feel lonely there are times you feel nobody is loving you there are times you experience a lot of difficulties and problems in your life and these days of lockdown and so on uh, there are there are so many children there are so many people who feel depressed and disappointed in their life and then when suddenly this words of jesus comes to your mind i am there always with you to the end of ages that means the lord is always with me and when this a uh, word of god is coming into our into your mind into your heart you believe yes the lord is always with me and you believe that all the this this is a beautiful promise that jesus has given me this is a beautiful assurance that jesus has given me and therefore what is faith faith is hoping that all the promises not only these two verses so many promises are there in the bible in the gospel so many promises so many assurances the lord has given us and faith is hoping that all those promises of jesus all those promises of the lord will be fulfilled in my life 
and what is the second part of this definition the conviction of things not to see and as soon as you are as young stage and so on there can be so many doubts there are people who ask you so many questions have you seen god have you seen angels have you seen mother mary have you seen jesus jesus dying for you and so many questions like this and then you say no i have not seen if you ask me a question have you seen god have you seen angels physically have you seen jesus physically standing in front of you i would say i have not experienced jesus standing physically or when people ask you have you seen the eucharist changing into the real body of jesus in the eucharist we say no we have not experienced we have not seen and then he began ask you then then how can you believe in all this if you have not seen all these things how can you believe in all these things it is because why this question is asked are, are being asked to us it is because of lack of understanding of what is faith our faith should be rooted in the word of god lord of god says faith is the conviction of things not to see even if i have i am not seen i have not seen all these things i am convinced that the lord died for me i am convinced that during the eucharist i am receiving the true body and blood of jesus though i have not seen i believe i am convinced that there is the lord with me there are angels there are saints mother mary is there with me i am convinced i am convinced with the teachings of the church therefore this is faith let us write this word of god in our heart this word of god uh, letter to the hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not to see if your faith is rooted on this word of god then we don't experience difficulties and problems in our life with regard to the teachings of the church with regard to the certain matters therefore let us ask ourselves this question as you reflect on this topic faith on this first first talk let us ask ourselves is my faith rooted on the word of god if my faith is not rooted on the word of god then there can be lot of questions then i place lot of questions in my life in the coming days we find we will also see the people uh, who uh, who had great faith in god people who lived their life according to the word of god according to their faith in god we will see some people and so on therefore my dear friends in jesus christ ask yourself this question is my faith rooted on the word of god is my faith based on this definition that paul gave us faith is assurance of things hoped for am i a person who is hoping that all the promises of the lord will be fulfilled in my life and am i a person who is who is, who believes that uh, there are things exist am i a person who is convinced of the teachings of the church let us ask ourselves if we we find that our faith is shallow if we find that i am a person who has a lot of doubt in my life it is because that my faith is not rooted or founded on this word of god let us try to understand this is faith this is faith let us pray to jesus that he may help each one of us that we that and he may give us this gift of faith in the coming days may the eucharistic lord bless each one of you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen